everybody. Welcome back. We're looking at some Facebook drama. Llama. I don't have a llama grabber. I think the closest thing I have is this giraffe. <laughs> Llamas kind of look like giraffes, right? Yo, it's so big, ah! <laughs> <laughs> hey, so I've posted in here before needing some advice about a friend who is prioritizing her friendship with a ghost that haunts her house or a friendship with me. <laughs> so lots of people laughed at me, which I thought was pretty mean. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry. So I'm hoping I'll get taken seriously this time because ghosts are real. Now she's calling the ghost her best friend and even made a joke about it being her maid of honor. Should I be upset about this? I'm pretty sure the ghost is sleeping with her boyfriend anyways. What do I do? Angry face, tell her the ghost is a Thumbs up, try to freeze the ghost out of the friend group. Crying face, prove that I'm a better maid of honor by throwing a surprise bridal shower where the ghost isn't invited. How do you know it's sleeping with her boyfriend? That's what I was about to say. He keeps looking really guilty whenever the ghost is around. <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing. That's really difficult. Is everything okay? Potato emoji to say you're okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. Good condition. Lights up would be great for a man cave. <laughs> Must pick up price negotiable, no low ball offers. All right. It would be good to put out on a shooting range. After sale, it's not my concern what's done with it. Man cave, that's the pitch. I know I couldn't think of a better way to throw away $1,000 on this. Whoa, it's $1,000? Hang. Okay, I didn't actually get a good look at this. Me you stole a Metro PCS sign and you're selling it for $1,000. How many what? It's to sell, not complain. Wow, how about if you're not interested, get a life, stop trolling and go elsewhere. If anybody I know was to have that BS company sign in their man cave, I'm docking their man card and hitting them over with the head with the sign while screaming, can you hear me now? To each their own, sir. If you're not buying, don't post. Thank you. And a man talking about a man card being revoked obviously needs to check himself before he wrecks himself. <laughs> A man is a man by actions, not words, or a physical implication such as a card. Oh look, the little guy can rhyme too. Cute, my man card, don't need check, bro. You're the one thinking that having a Metro PCS sign is something to add to a man cave, so it's very apparent you've never had one. Don't worry, bro, once you move out of your parents' home, you can have one. Don't you get any play with a man cave that's not manly. You can put up a pic of your favorite ballerina too. You posted the I just commented, sorry your butt hurt, but grow up. Metro PCS sign being used in a man cave and you wanna talk crap to me about my man card. <laughs> this is getting heated. You guys okay? What's up? What's happening over here? A simple post about a sign being stolen and sold for a thousand dollars has turned into a war of words between men. Do you guys have like swords? Do you wanna fight with your sword? I don't have a sword, but I, I have some shark grabbers and, and I have a, this, this one. It's pretty menacing. I can hear my ghost. Hi, Lana! Good! She answered this time. He said, check yourself before you wreck yourself. The man quoted classic cube on ya. Man, this has made my morning. Why am I so invested in this Facebook fight? I don't know. Bro, I have ball hairs with more style and class than you. I wasn't going to go all out and be a bag, but now that seems to be fitting for you now since you're so brave behind your phone. You're right, we don't know each other at all, but I know you're full of Cause if you had all that you bragged about, then you wouldn't be trying to sell a worthless Metro PCS sign. Most regular common sense having intelligent people know Honestly, my brain hurts reading this. That's not a man cave item unless you're a tech geek or love the phone service, which I've had them and cuss them daily as well as everyone I've known who had their service too. So if you have money, cars, and a three bedroom house in today's world for real, then you wouldn't be hard up to sell the sign. <laughs> He's got a point. What are you, why are you stealing a sign and then selling it for a thousand dollars? He's out here hustling, I sell ya. I sell ya. I tell ya and I sell ya. <laughs> I digress, young buck. <laughs> are you guys gonna headbutt? <laughs> 
I've been fighting and breathing longer than you. So I'm pretty sure if we were to face, my mohawk would be the last thing you would remember of me after you woke up from the coma I'd leave your little punk ass in. <laughs> Neon sign that our beer, whiskey, sports team, bands, not all bands, but most, flags, banners, stickers, dart boards, pool tables, foosball, foosball, air hockey, hell, even a long shot like ping pong, but only cause the table is good for both ping pong and beer pong. <laughs> you really thought about this, eh? Dead animal heads. <laughs> You mean a bust? Coat of arms, blade, and weapons, and things that would carry the word man cave, not cheap cave. <laughs> Again, sunny boy, learn the meaning of man cave. Oh, and take your girlfriend's skinny pants off and let your... Member. Breathe a little so you don't get all tight up and... Shouldn't you be in jail? Oh! Oh, 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 that's an interesting take. So the guy stole a sign and is selling it because he's a felon. I understand now. Okay, I get it. Cool, man. I mean, realistically, why would anyone want to sell a sign on Facebook Marketplace that isn't a felon? I'm pretty sure stealing a sign and then selling it is like a felony, no? Sorry, I expected more of you random Facebook man. I am done being nice. You sit there and judge others when you have no clue what is going on. You talk about God, but here you go by one side of poop, but then claim you know both sides. Then tell others to grow up. Really? Really? Buy yourself a clue and stay out of my family affairs. What goes on with my mom and sister is our business, and furthermore, my children are my life, and if they act like little a-holes, I have the right to say it. Now, anything further you want to share, you best step up and say it to my face, you childish twit. Oh, twit's a good word. Haven't heard that in a minute. Furthermore, my mom and sister aren't as innocent as you make them out to be, but only God can judge me for what I do. Don't like me, then delete me and seek help for yourself, because I don't need like you in my life, nor around my children. OMG, what did I miss? What's going on here? Wow. Was that supposed to be like a private message? It isn't now. My family's been friends with her for years and she knew my dad knows my mom. What'd she do? Ask her what she's doing because she knows well and I ain't plastering my family business out on Facebook. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? Kinda seems like you are. She thinks she's all bad by posting about me and my family. I'm done with this all together. She wants to play, then let's play. Okay, that's BS. It's never okay to do that. I do not know what is going on and I do not repeat, do not care. All I will say is this. If you are all so grown up as you claim to be, then none of this BS would be posted on Facebook, period. You would have called and or messaged one another and solved this otherwise. No one cares what is happening. I care. You guys care? I care. I'm invested. Learn to solve problems without putting it out there for everyone to see. And if you do put it out there, the use of language and name calling is definitely not necessary. Thank you. Like I told her time and time again, if she has a problem with me, message me or come say it to my face. But instead she posts it on Facebook. Like I said, I'm done being nice. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> I mean, I don't have any context as to what happened, but I'm really invested in whatever is going on. My coworker canceled her wedding plans two weeks ago. Today she posted a sonogram and the comments got lit. <laughs> PSA, important. And I regret to inform you that we will no longer be committing to each other this May. We thank you all of you for your love and support through this transitioning period in our lives and ask that you grant us privacy and space for growth and healing. Did you get like a PR person to write this for you? Due to the sensitivity of the matter, we ask that you refrain from reaching out, calls, texts, etc. We will be in touch when we are ready. We look forward to remaining in each other's lives as friends as we work to co-parent our children. Thank you for understanding and love. Wow, praying for you guys. Another one. Hashtag big family. Hashtag if you know. F Y, you know, I think that if you, okay, I don't know what that acronym is, but it's there. Shake my head. What, you mad I ain't tell you first? You still my bestie. God dad now, lol. Nah, I'm shaking my head because we both know I'm not the father and that's gonna be a problem, homie. <laughs> Here's not the place, Nika. You always try to put my business out there. Well, I figured since you tell everybody, you might as well be honest.
went to the Rosalind Sunoco and got free chicken with a $30 purchase of gas. That was some of the best crunchy fried chicken I've had. What's with all the hate for Sunoco? Abdul Rahim was nothing but kind and generous. <laughs> Apparently something about water mixed in the gas. Well, there was no water in my chicken, Susan. <laughs> The chicken is great. The top of this post just says chicken. <laughs> Maybe they feel like they need to overcompensate for the water and the gas with some chicken. In which case, fair. I would be no longer angry in that situation. I do love me some fried chicken. You are a liar. You are not leaving the house at one in the morning to just go to the store. You're full of poop and I'm done. Last straw, John. Got engaged to John. <laughs> Yeah, that's it, eh? That's all you gotta do, just crack the whip, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Taking a month apart. A play in two acts. I love that. So what was he doing at one in the morning, just out of curiosity? Anyone interested in this jacket? Bought it as a Christmas present, but the wanker only deserves the clap this Christmas. 120 pounds or best offer can deliver. God, I love it when people share their dirty laundry on the internet. It's heating up in my true crime group. Live by violence, die by violence. I really hope all of your cats get AIDS. Whoa! Let's leave the cats out of this. That's a really stupid thing to say. Your cats, feline AIDS. <laughs> They all die and people on the internet say ridiculous shit about how they somehow deserved it. Screw yourself. Guys, guys, I, th I think we all need to take a step back. Calm down a little bit. Leave the kittens out of it. What'd they ever do to you, huh? They're just kittens. From a boutique Vancouver Island retreat to a Kelowna winery stay. Redefine city getaway in BC's nature-inspired cities. Oh, that's in Victoria. I used to live there. Ron, I've never been to BC. I want to go there now, but I think the woman on the balcony is why. Does Ron think that this advertisement is what you get when you go to BC. You just get like a woman on a balcony. It took a while, but I did notice a lot of high rise buildings in the background, but I was mostly focused on her. I would like to go there with a woman like that, but I think she would be way too young for me. But maybe I could buy a man a mannequin, dress it up like that and take it with me just to stare at while I'm having my early morning coffee. I might need to get four or five mannequins. One with a bikini, maybe for hot days on the beach. One for company at the best restaurants where I would only have to pay for my meal and the tip. That would be 50% less than what a real woman would cost me. I would always be able to talk about anything I want and there would be no complaints about me not wanting to go shopping enough. It would never ask for my credit card either. I would not have to maintain that big smile on all their faces. It would be there 24 hours a day. It would never try to talk your ears off. Hmm, maybe that is the answer to a happy life. I'm not sure it is, but go for it. I'm thinking there's no reason to drive an expensive car when a rusted and beat up old reliable pickup truck will do just fine. If you don't want to get dressed up or shave or shine your shoes or get a haircut or pull them pesky nose and ear hairs <laughs> or get all the grease off your hands from a hard day at work, no problem. Because you would never hear a mannequin complain about anything like that ever. A mannequin would never say a word or complain about my drinking. <laughs> or even having the odd cigar, or checking out a really good looking woman walking down the street, and it would never say no to anything I wanted to do. I could even take it hunting and fishing with... <laughs> and the guys I go with would probably like that as well. I'm not sure they would. I think that's debatable. I could take it for a drive in my truck and get to listen to the kind of music that I like. With my arm around at any time and anywhere, I want with no complaints. That would be heaven. Why hasn't anyone thought of this before? Maybe I need to get out more. That's it for now because my doctor just showed up with my daily meds, lol. <laughs> wow, what a masterpiece. That is a masterpiece of a Facebook comment, I tell ya. Thank you for contributing. Ron, you're a real one. Subscribe!